Another kind of question off that. So he's a very wide infrasternal angle. Um, and it, I don't get too much change with that. Like he's an older person. Um, and most things he does is just a ton of hamstrings, has trouble shifting his center of gravity forward and to get like quads and stuff. So is that kind of play, like is, are they gonna have a harder time with something like a squat based on that description? Right, so, so in, in that typical scenario, what you're gonna have is somebody that's very, very wide relative to how deep they are front to back. Am I correct? So he's kind of like a wide guy, right? And so one of the things that you actually need to sit down is you need to be able to expand the thorax anterior to posterior. And if you can't do that, then the center of gravity continues to shift forward. And so he's gonna run out of room very, very quickly. So you're gonna see that, that maybe you lay him on the table and he's got normal hip flexion, but when he stands up, because of the, the reorientation of the thorax, on top of the, of the pelvis, the pelvis is going to orient itself forward and you're going to run out of hip flexion very, very quickly. And then if the center of gravity goes further forward, then you lose ankle motion very quickly. So if you lose hip and ankle motion very, very quickly, chances are you get a very, very shallow squat. So again, the, I wouldn't change the, the recommended strategy. I would still try to get him to reach forward and offset with, with some load that he can handle and see if that doesn't get you a better Wow. Makes sense. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome.